Today, we become legends. Smite sure does love a good nerf. Well, today we're going to explore some of the biggest nerfs and series of nerfs that we've ever seen in the 10 year history of Smite so far. These are in no particular order since it's very hard to weigh nerfs against each other for different gods in different situations, even at different points in the game's lifespan. This list also won't include any reworks since they're more than just nerfs and buffs in my opinion, so you won't be seeing the removal of old rat acorns or the many Freya reworks in here, but without further ado, let's jump in with number 10. So first up is a pretty recent one, Tsukuyomi released way too strong and a large reason for that was his absolutely busted release ultimate. In the patch directly after his release, the base damage on the ult was hit along with nerfs to his other abilities, especially the two which got nerfed in three different areas two weeks after launch. The very next patch in 7.9, the damage mitigation was hit massively from 50% down to 30%. While the scaling on both the beams and the dashes was taken down quite a bit as well. Again, the 2 was hit insanely hard in this patch with knock-up immunity removed, scaling down by 40%, disarm duration halved, and a movement speed nerf to boot. However, that was pretty much the last of the 2 nerfs, but his ult soldiered on, taking more nerfs in 8.4 to the damage mitigation again, and the scaling again. Bringing back the comparison of release versus now, I think it's clear to say why Suku is on this list. Next up is a less flashy but still important nerf that was reverted pretty quickly afterwards because of how much it negatively impacted the character, and that's Terra's root on Monolith. For those that missed it, the root was removed in late season 4 and added back in mid season 5, but during this time Terra took a huge hit since it's one of her main ways to engage a fight. Not the most flashy or high numbers nerf, but an impactful one nonetheless. So impactful it had to be very quickly reverted. The next entry on the list is taken by two gods, Sol and Alquang. So what could these two mages possibly have in common? One is a magical ADC and the other is a magical assassin. Well, their insane use of Polynomicon before the nerfs of course. Sol's 2 and Alquang's 3 both used to count as a basic attack and would proc on hit item effects, most notably Polynomicon. This added a huge amount of burst damage to their combos and for Alquang specifically it warped his playstyle away from the attack speed and lifesteal builds we see today and towards full power Polynomicon and Soul Reaver while aiming to burst his target instantly and ult for a finisher. Both of these gods suffered tremendously from the removal of this mechanic and definitely deserve a spot on this list. But from one humongous nerf to death by a thousand cuts, this entry is taken by Kepri's ultimate, Scarab's Blessing. I honestly feel bad for this ability when I look at its release stats and what it does now, but then I feel less bad when I realise it's still one of the most powerful support ults in the game. A res will never be bad, so why did it need all these extra stats? 60% revive health compared to 45% now, 25 power versus none now, increased range at release compared to now, now countered by executes, that wasn't the case at release, 90 second cooldown then versus 110 seconds now. While this one wasn't one gigantic nerf like the previous entry, I felt like I had to include Kepri's ult on the most nerfed list given the ridiculous amount of effects this ability has had nerfed or outright removed over the years. But back on the single changes that made waves, we have the removal of Sylvanas' wisps hitting minions. Sylv is one of the biggest lane bullies of all time, but at release he was undisputed in that category, because not only did he have the AoE basics that also staggered minions which they don't do anymore, he also had wisps that would damage enemy minions and heal his own wave. This was pretty much impossible to fight into unless you had your own Sylvanas or maybe an Izanami, it was just ridiculous. He also had the cooldown and healing nerfed on this too, but the main showstopper here is making the wisps only target gods, absolutely monstrous nerf. Next up we have one you all will know of and that's because it literally just happened. That's right, I believe the Erlang Shen turtle knockup removal was top 10 biggest nerfs of all time. Erlang's whole playstyle for maybe the last 4 years has been built around that knockup chain CC into burst damage and removing it will not only massively change his overall playstyle, it was one of the biggest single nerfs of all time in my opinion. Speaking of huge warrior nerfs though, King Arthur always has come to mind as one of the most concentrated bundles of nerfs we've ever seen. He doesn't hold a candle to some of the older gods in terms of total nerfs, but in terms of nerfs per year they've been out, he's definitely up there. My choice for the specific ability here is Excalibur's Wrath, which was by far the most nerfed aspect of Arthur's kit post release. The first nerfs to this ability were actually in pre release before he even came to the live client, which was a pretty significant overall damage increase throughout the early and mid game, basically changing the damage from 20% of your max health at all times to 14, scaling up to 22% of your max health depending on rank. While not huge, a mana cost was added to it when it previously cost no mana, just energy. But then the big event came in patch 6.5 where Excalibur's Wrath's true damage component was removed. 
While the ability was compensated with more overall damage, the fact that it's now physical damage that can be mitigated by protections as opposed to true damage that ignores them is a huge deal. This was actually a large nerf to Arthur's ult despite the numbers being made bigger. And up until season 9 there was just one more nerf to this ability, taking down both the base damage and the landing hit damage. I don't really expect more nerfs to hit this ability anytime soon, but the sheer amount of concentrated nerfs received here warrants a spot on the list in my opinion. So this next entry is a pretty interesting one and relates to Old Hell, which is probably one of the least documented old gods given her kit was reworked into closed alpha that was never even released to the public. However, we do have all the nerfs to Hell's 3 in both stances, and boy is this a lot for just a basic ability. So first up, the elephant in the room, Hell's Dark Stance 3 used to knock back and slow enemies on hit. Removing this was already a gigantic nerf in itself. The scaling on this also used to be 100%, which is insane for magical scaling, especially given the 10 second base cooldown it had at that point. The Light Stance 3 also scaled at 80%, which compared to most mage heals today is absolutely crazy. For reference, Hell 3 now scales at 30% in Light Stance, while a lot of other magical heals scale at 50%. If you think Hell is a menace now, be thankful you didn't have to play against her at release. Our penultimate spot on the list is taken by the big rock himself, Geb, and the nerf he took to his trusty stone shield. This ability now works off of base health and 20 extra per level, however at release this ability had more base health at 400, a longer duration at 6 seconds, but most importantly it scaled at 20% of Geb's max health. Given items at the time like Gauntlet of Thieves that increased max health from items by 15%, Geb could very easily get to 3k HP, almost always more than that, and get a shield that's over 1000 HP for 6 seconds, while also still cleansing CC as it always has. This ability used to be just insane, whereas it's now pretty good. Definitely one of the biggest nerfs of all time. So quickly before we reveal the final huge nerf, I've got three honourable mentions that were in consideration but didn't quite make the list. Firstly, the various haste removals from god kits such as Jingwei, Kronos and Sol. These were huge nerfs at the time and were part of a game-wide initiative to remove haste from god kits. The ever-powerful release Bologna also makes it onto the list, albeit as an honourable mention, with the crazy nerfs to her 1 and 3. The 3's healing has gone from 110 to 45 and the disarm duration was hit a lot too, while the 1 used to build block stacks off minions and slow for 30% at rank 1 of the ability. And finally, Zeus's detonate stun removal. While it was replaced with a slow, that helped a little bit, but even that was removed and got put on the 1, so really this just was a huge nerf. But let's get back into it with our final nerf. Fenrir's release 3 worked a little differently than how it does now. Instead of 4 ability hits, it was just 4 consecutive basic attacks. Meaning each hit scaled at 100% of power, because that's how physical basic attacks worked, that already gave the ability a 400% scaling. However, since it was basic attacks and not ability damage, Brutalize could also crit, activate Golden Bow, Frostbound Hammer, anything you need really. Crit was the most obnoxious with the ability, dealing over 1000% scaling if all 4 hits were crits with a Deathbringer. While this is very similar to Sol and Alquang from earlier in the video, I felt it needed its own placement on the list given how truly huge this nerf was. But that's it for 10 gigantic nerfs in Smite. Let me know if you have any other huge nerfs you think should have been on the list, and don't forget to drop a like before you leave. Have a great day, and peace out you nerds.